Hello everybody, this is NanoDude05, back with yet another Trailmakers tutorial. As you can see, I have quite a lot of weight here, uh, 20,000 kilograms to be exact. And in today's video, we'll be learning how to make a hovercraft that can lift it. Additionally, I'd like to also show you first how to use the hover pads for damping and a more practical hovercraft that you use every day. Alright guys, so to get started, you're going to enter your builder, pull out any seat of your choice, and then we begin the construction process of the hovercraft. First of all, you're going to want some hover pads for up and down stabilization. Once you have those hover pads, you're going to probably want to build a frame as well. It'll need to be a lot bigger, as it will need to accommodate a lot more parts and hover pads later. Additionally, we're going to add a stabilizer so that our hovercraft stays upright at all times. Now we'll just test that the stabilization works. Alright, so now of course we're going to use some gibbles for up and down, and then of course our speed sensors and other logic gates so that we can control it properly. Set these two logic gates to the control that you want to go down with. We'll simply use gravity. Now what you're going to want to do is grab another logic gate and simply set these two to the controls that you use to go up and down and then connect to all these hover pads. And of course I did it wrong, I forgot to connect that XOR. Now as you can see up and down, and as soon as we let go, the damping effect of the hover pad takes over and completely stops our hovercraft and its tracks, making it incredibly stable. Next, we want to add some hover pads for forwards and backwards stabilization. Make sure to remove this from those hover pads if you're duplicating them. And of course, add whatever you want uh, for your thrust, forwards and backwards. Now grab another logic gate, set it to the controls for forwards and backwards, and attach to those hover pads. Now as you can see, I go forwards very quickly, when I let go, it stops. Now of course, as you can see, we just need to stabilize one more direction. So for our final amount of stabilization, all we have to do is grab ourselves some more hover pads, and do the same thing we did for forwards and backwards stabilization. And once again, once we place those hover pads, um, we can actually set their controls to something to use for turning. These two diagonally across each other will turn off when the control is applied, so it will activate these two, which will push it that way and that way, causing it to turn left. And of course, vice versa for the other two. Now, so you can see, we have a very simple, fully stabilized hovercraft using the hover pad damping to keep it nice and stable. Now of course there's a lot you can do with these parts, of course mine doesn't look very pretty because I didn't spend any time making it look nice, but these are the basics, you can pretty much just build something like this and shove it in anything you want to make fly, you just have to add more propulsion to keep it strong enough to move whatever you put it in. Now using a similar concept, we're going to be able to learn how to move that huge 20,000 kilogram weight. You're going to start off by placing your seat, of course. We will need a lot of hover pads to lift that, probably about 50. So now we have 50 hover pads facing up, and just for good measure, I'm going to add even more. Now we add the ones facing the other direction. And 
and we can start adding some controls. Now, of course, in this situation, we don't want all of these hover pads to be on all the time because then it will just be going up constantly since there's only one set on the bottom. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a distance sensor, set it to always on, get an XOR gate, put that going to that XOR, and then put this going to the top two layers Now only the bottom two layers are on, which means it still should descend. We're going to set the down control to turn all these off. This third layer here. And we're going to set our up control to turn our bottom layer off. As well as the XOR gate to turn all of these on. Now, of course, we're going to have to add some stabilization. I'm adding extra just for good measure. Now, of course, we will also need controls for going other directions. And for that, we're going to simply use more hover pads. Now the hovercraft is actually behaving a little strangely. Uh, sometimes that happens with hover pads, a lot of strange interactions with other blocks. But if you just move around a bit, it should stabilize out. So I didn't add anything to do altitude hold on this one, at least. But as you can see, I will come up to this 20,000 kilogram block of weights. And if I maneuver myself correctly, try to pick it up as straight as possible. That looks pretty good. Now I just grab on. Light work. Of course, as you can see, I am I am not moving very fast. Again, uh, around six miles an hour is usually what you can expect. But it is pretty crazy that it can move that much weight and to prove this isn't hollow. We'll just save that. And there you go, 20,000 kilograms. Alright guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, again, comment any suggestions you'd like to see for the future. I'm planning on probably doing some wild group glitching tutorials next. Um, so make sure you stay tuned. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. See you in the next one.